Hello everyone, this is Sanvi from grade 9 and today we are here to discuss the topic is voting a civic responsibility or not. So before concluding that voting is a civic responsibility, I would like to tell you the term vote. We are all having a right that is right to vote which implies that every adult citizen of a country is free to vote without any discrimination of caste, creed, color, sex, religion, etc. Next. Next. Similarly, in UN Assembly, a declaration was passed that was the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which implies that every citizen has the right to take part in the government of their country. Next. We all know that we are having free elections. So here are the history of elections. Election is a mechanism in which people can choose the representative of their own choice in a democracy. The concept of free and fair election is that no one is the bondage of one another. Everyone is free of any pressure. The Election Commission of India is mainly a body that was established by the Constitution of India to conduct free and fair elections. Next. Here we have gone through a term democracy. Democracy was first used in ancient Greece to mean a government where people could share in activities of state. But in today in India, it is a type of government that is of the people, for the people and by the people. Next. Democracy is further of two types, electoral and non-electoral. Electoral democracy is one that is based on elections and non-electoral is one that is not based on election. Next. About 2 billion people out of 7 billion people are still under oppressive rule. We all are having free election but still many have died in history for their freedom from the foreign rule and today many are still dying for the freedom to get right to vote. Next, one vote does count. In India, the elections are based on the policy of one person, one value. Each person has one vote and each vote has one value. No one can deny this policy. Now it's quite clear that elections are very important as they shape the economy make the leader accountable and give people an opportunity to make their representative chosen by themselves. Next. Now question might be arising in your mind that how voting can be done. So voting can be done in many ways. It is done secretly also and by election system. Secretly is it done on a ballot paper. A ballot paper is provided to the voter that cast their vote on that paper to vote their candidates. An electoral system is set of rules that determines how elections are going to be conducted and how their results are going to be determined. Next. Now, if voting is a civil responsibility, then it's also the responsibility of citizens to cast a wise vote. The citizen shall not cast the vote under any pressure or the opposition party. They should cast the vote according to their favorable candidate without any pressure. Next. In history, Benjamin Franklin was once asked that what form of government do we have? He answered, a republic if you can keep it. So it's clear that responsibility is of voting is of citizens and no one can deny it. Next. Next. At last, I would like to conclude by saying that do not take for granted the responsibility of voting. It's our responsibility and we shall protect it. Thank you.